Welcome back to Connecticut's Morning Buzz. Well, there is a rural health care crisis in Connecticut right now, and the Community Health and Wellness Center is trying to address this. We are here live with the CEO of the center, Joanne Bourdois. Joanne, thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me. So let's first talk about the crisis. Uh, before we get to your exciting news, I know you're opening a new center, but there is a health care crisis, you said, particularly in rural areas. Can you explain this? Right. So I think the conversation starts with there's a national crisis happening right now in that there is a shortage of health care providers and we know statistically that folks are aging longer living longer and someone needs to take care of them um, the fact that there is a national shortage of folks going into primary care is very concerning but that concern is doubly compounded when we talk about rural areas. Lack of resources, lack of transportation, and very long distance travel to get to providers. Right, it's a lot uh, to consider, to tackle, but you are trying to tackle that issue. Tell us about your new center that has uh, that will be opening. We are, so we are opening our third location in North Canaan. We'll be serving North Canaan and seven other surrounding towns. And as we speak today, we are launching our school-based health center program in three of the schools in the region one and so we are hoping to address the need where there is a lack of health care and our center will offer affordable high quality and accessible health care services we turn no one away regardless of insurance status or financial situation that is wonderful let's talk a bit more so obviously you have um, primary care physicians there but you also have specialties as well really all-encompassing tell us a bit more about your programming sure and so we will be offering uh, primary care, a chiropractor, and mental health services at this particular location. Anything that we can't offer at this location, we will link patients to services either at one of our two facilities in Winstead or Torrington or in our community partners up in the Northwest region. Part of what we do is not only provide those services within the four walls, but also reach out and work with our community partners. So if there is something that we cannot provide, one of our partners will be able to do that for us so patients don't have gaps in their care. That is wonderful and I know you mentioned you accept everyone so we this do. is mentioning insurance right not everyone needs to have insurance. That's right. How do people uh, get your services get an appointment how does that all work sure so for right now you can call our main location until we get all our systems up and running at 860-489-0931 and our appointments are by scheduled appointments however we do anticipate that folks will walk in and we're happy to speak to them about how they can schedule appointments to see a primary care provider or a mental health provider um, but anyone can walk in our doors are open and we welcome everyone and we'll have a discussion about what are your needs and how can we help to address them. Great. And very quickly before we go, tell us a bit about you have an open house coming up uh, and a ribbon cutting, a lot of exciting stuff. We'll bring yeah. it up here on screen, but tell us a bit more about those. So lots of folks to thank for getting us to this point. Um, but our ribbon cutting will be on Friday, May 10th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., followed by our public open house on Saturday, May 11th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. That'll give the community an opportunity to come in and take a look around. And then we're hoping to open our doors for services on Monday, May 13th. All right, well, Joanne Bourgeois, thank you so much for coming in, talking about this issue, and congratulations thank you so on much. your new center. We will link your website right here, chwctour.org. We'll also have more information on our website, wtnh.com. We'll be right back.